All right, hello. I want to read another article to you uh, about this o Ocean County Park closure. And it was the sole discretion of this, this wonderful lady you see right here. Uh, <laughs> I'm being sarcastic. You can see she looks like she's from a certain demographic, doesn't she? Uh, and yeah, I know a certain demographic is very upset about the video I just put up because I see lots of you don't like it. So uh, you're trying to intimidate me again. I guess certain demographic doesn't stand for freedom in this country. Um, or maybe it's, uh, it's, it's the chi people from China that are trying to, who knows. But I'm going to speak my mind because it's my right to speak my mind. All right? So Virginia Haynes, Ocean County freeholder, uh, to close all county parks tonight. So uh, she warned she was going to do it, and today she did. After out-of-town residents visited, visited Brick Township's Mantelooking Bridge Park last week, Ocean County Board of, of, of Chosen Freeholder Virginia Haynes, 75, threatened a total shutdown of the park system. So basically because of one park, she threatened she was going to shut down the entire system. And today she did it. So, the Ocean County Department of Parks and Recreation will close the gates on county parks should the crowds become too large to be able to practice social distancing and to meet the requirements of the state regarding large groups of gathering in one area. This measure officially shuts down the largest park system in Ocean County and limits residents' abilities to continue to stay healthy and in shape, confining residents to their homes, which long-term can cause underlying health problems for the county. Great article. Uh, and then... Uh, Ginny Haynes. Oh, uh, they call her Ginny? Ginny? Uh, whatever. This lady right here, she's the one that's caused all this. Uh, and once again, I'm going to explain to you uh, my opinion on this. Um, let's go to maps and let's uh, show you where the Ocean County parks are. And I'm going to show you how to go to them uh, anyway. All right. Because uh, there's, you know, I understand people gathering in, in an area of the park. Let's let's try to look, get this thing to work. If that would be nice, this computer is being a pain in the neck as it always is. Um, let's leave our wonderful paradise of Long Island and go to New Jersey. And uh, let's uh, see uh, what we got here. So, um, so this is one of the parks that I go to here, the uh, Jake's Branch Park. All right, and the Jake's Branch Park. Uh, you can see most of it is a wild area, all right? And the problem is people were probably congregating in these areas, these picnic areas here, and these fields, and the playground, which is supposed to be closed. So why can't they just close all of this off? And if the parking lot is getting too full, then once the parking lot reaches a certain amount of people, that's it. You close the parking lot off. Um, but to actually close the entire park off, uh, and there were no reports of overcrowding in this particular park. It was, it was one of the other parks. Uh, and I was reading online, people were at Wells Mills, people were at Jake's Branch. There was no issues with overcrowding. This is a completely made-up BS. There's overcrowding in certain parks, in certain areas, but most of the trails and the wilderness areas were not overcrowded. So for Jake's Branch Park, uh, what you can do... Now, they might put, I wouldn't put a passion to put tape here. Uh, but what you can do, you can just uh, park in what, well, first of all, if you're not from the area, I urge you, don't go there. All right? Um, maybe there was an issue with people from out of the area going there. If you're not from the area, don't go to Jake's Branch. Don't, if, but if you're in time, if you're, I, look, I have no plans on going there. All right? It sucks. I was going to go there in April uh, before it got too hot, and now I don't think I'm going to be able to do it, um, um, which really sucks. And I'll probably have to wait until September to go, uh, because you know how hot it gets in Jersey. All right. Um, uh, this is one of the entrances right here. They're probably going to put tape. You could just walk around. Obviously, you may have to bushwhack a little bit, so make sure you have your permethrin on. All right. Uh, there's also another way in. You can take this road here as well. They'll probably put tape in again. Just walk around the tape. Uh, and like I said, if the police try to stop you, question you, or arrest you, they have no right to do that. All they can do is ask you to leave. Uh, and if they ask you to leave, you have to leave. Um, but uh, uh, this is uh, ridiculous. So I think there's another way in uh, on some trails that go through um, Double Trouble State Park. Um, but again, if you're only if you're in the area, if you live in Tom's River and you want to go, um, you can do that. I mean, obviously, there are other places you can go to. 
Um, I'm just telling you that Miss Virginia Haynes is not going to stop people from Tom's River from going to the woods. All right. I know there's another natural area over here. Uh, that's this park here. They probably closed this one off. Uh, there's a baseball field. Obviously, we can't have that. But if you want to go for a walk, yeah, there's another entrance here. All right. They, you can't close off the woods. She thinks you can close off these beautiful woods. Well, she has another thing coming because you can't. You can't close off the woods. Legally, she has no authority to do that. Um, um, and that's just the thing of it because this, this land was actually purchased with state money. All right. So if the state isn't closing their parks and there's no directive from the state or the CDC, and there isn't to close any parks, uh, there is no directive for that. So this is an overstep of, of, of Virginia Haynes. She's overstepping her bounds. And um, uh, I'll show you another park that I've been to that I haven't been to in a while. Um, Double Trouble is still open for now, but what's going to happen is I'm worried people are going to overcrowd that. Uh, this is another area like a former sand mine. They really can't, they can't limit access to that. Um, if you do go into Jake's Branch and you, you go in anyway, just stay away from any of these common areas. Make sure you stay deep in the woods. Police aren't going to go deep in the woods. All right? They can't even get a police car down here on these trails. All right? Look, I, I know I'm telling people, hey, you're telling people to break the law. There's no law. They have no, this woman has no authority to do what she did. She has no authority to actually do it. So it's unconstitutional. It will get tossed out. Uh, and uh, if people are incarcerated or ticketed, it will get tossed out, and then the county will be sued for an abuse of power. Um, here is uh, another park here, Wells Mills. Not too familiar with how to get into this one. Um, you have to go in through the front gates, which will be closed, and it's surrounded by cedar swamps. Um, there may be some other access points. But the bottom line is you could be in another park. You could be on state land, all right? And you could wander onto county land and not even know it. So that's just why it makes this on unenforceable, especially with Double Trouble and Jake's Branch being right next to each other. And I'm sure there are other places like that. So, um, like I said, if you live there and you want to go for a hike in, in a park, go for a hike in the park. Don't let this woman stop you. All right. You know, she's on a power trip. And honestly, uh, let me just Google uh, the information so we can put this in here Ocean County. Ocean County. So I'll just give you the contact information so you can contact her, right? Uh, this is the woman who made the decision right here. This freeholder, Virginia E. Ginny Haynes. Uh, and her email is right here. I, I will certainly be writing her a letter, and I urge you to do the same. Uh, it's ocean.nj.us, uh, and you can write her a letter uh, because I think it's an absolute outrage. Uh, uh, open space closed to the public here. This is the note that they uh, put up here uh, again. Uh, so she has no authority to do this. She can't close the woods. Uh, and uh, security department, I mean, this is the United States of America. She can't do this, all right? So keep that in mind. Uh, we have to fight back here. Uh, you know, I, I, I totally support social distancing guidelines. And if there's any area where people gather, they need to be closed. But how can people gather in the woods? I've never, I, I don't know how it's even physically possible. Uh, she's obviously just abusing her power at this point. So, um, and maybe the governor needs to intervene, Governor Phil Murphy. Uh, um, let me do this. Phil Murphy. Yeah. Put you, I'll put his contact information. So I'm urging my viewers not just to sit back and watch the video, but to contact these people and write letters to these people uh, because, um, uh, you know. But, of course, he has stay at home. Don't go out unless you have to. Uh, obviously, if you have to go for a walk, you have to go for a walk. That's in the, that's essential activity, in my opinion. Um, um, so we may not get much support from him, obviously. He hasn't really. I've heard Bergen County close their park. So this guy is, uh, I don't know. I used to like him. I, I still like him, but I think we have a better governor in New York. So um, that's all I could say. So just another reason why you don't want to be living in New Jersey. So uh, that's going to be it. I'm sorry to this this New Jersey, obviously. Don't. You know, I'm just saying your state's got some messed up government, all right? And uh, this this is ridiculous. So, uh, and I'm not going to stop talking about it. And if I find out any other areas that close parks, you are also going to get called out. Oh, yeah, Brick Brick Township closed their parks, right? I think Brick Township closed their parks, right? Yeah, Brick did it too. So another town in New Jersey, latest to close parks and beaches. They did it in, in, they did it in, uh, in concert with Ocean County. 
Uh, yeah, uh, so Mayor John G. Ducey, Brick Township, Police Officer James Riccio amending his proclamation of local disaster emergency to include all closure of Brick Township parks and beaches, preventing all short-term rentals within the town. I, I do agree with this. Uh, but uh, you can't close the parks. Uh, if, it's, if it's a passive, uh, you know, it's a, it became evident that people were not observing the necessary social distancing guidelines. So you close the areas they're hanging out in, or you have the police come and remind them not to gather. And if they continue to not gather, then you're going to have to take uh, action and give them tickets. But to, to punish everybody, um, this is a very, uh, this is not right. This is not right. So uh, that's all I have to say on this. I'm not going to be quiet about this, and no one is going to keep me quiet about this. You know, when you come between me and the Pine Barrens, you will feel my fury. Take care, everybody.